Hello and welcome back to Insights. I'm your co-host Blair Fleming and today we're going to be focusing on the question of how do you know when your nation is in trouble? Dave? Yeah, it's a huge, huge issue and I believe that some things have crystallized for me. I, I believe it's, uh, as I'll get into in the scriptures, but also just in terms of, I feel like the Lord has given me clarity. And I believe part of God's now message is this, that if your government is making laws that are anti-biblical or against God's will and ways, um, that's the first piece. But if you couple that, apart from any laws, any government, you couple that, the, this is what the people, this is what the population wants. Then you've got a real issue on your hand. It's both the government, it's the people, they're in agreement. But then number three, if the church is in agreement, and I might want to say it this way, Blair, if the church is in tacit agreement, mm -hmm. meaning it's not obvious, it's not necessarily stated, but actually the church is complicit because maybe the church is saying nothing so Dave, can you give us any examples of this? Yeah, so, okay, an obvious one would be gay marriage. In June of uh, 2015, Oberfell versus Hodges, we have uh, not the White House, not, not Congress, but we have the Supreme Court mm -hmm. saying that, that gay marriage is a constitutional right for everybody in America, mandated in all 50 states. Mm -hmm. But let's say that that didn't happen. We still have a sizable percentage of our population that's rising up and saying, yes, we want gay marriage to be recognized. And then third, the church has not been completely silent, but I would say in my three decades or so of being a believer, I have so rarely heard messages in church that clearly spell out what's going on in terms of human sexuality. Mm -hmm. So it's again, almost the silence brings us into that agreement and that is part of what's going on. With that being said, uh, so can you quote anything from the Bible? Yeah, you know, it's very interesting as you get into um, some of the prophetic books, and I, I just want to focus on one, Jeremiah, but chapter 23, we have the priests and the prophets that are not following the Lord. So there you've got that church piece, but you also have Jeremiah who is a true prophet. He's told in Jeremiah chapter 26 to go and speak to those people and others, the people in general. Um, that are in Jerusalem to worship. As well as then you see later in that chapter, the officials, the government, is getting involved in that whole whole thing. So, so yeah, we see this, that where you can have agreement. Actually, Blair, it's Jeremiah chapter 23, where God is revealing what's going on in his church with the priests and the prophets. And it's in uh, chapter 20. Six, where he's telling Jeremiah, you got to address these people as well as the broader population, as well as then he finds himself interacting with the government. So Blair, do you have an example of these three coming into agreement in contrast to God's, uh, God's will? Yeah, I can give you an example. Well, let's look at the legalization of, of marijuana uh, for recreational use and, and not medical use. Uh, it seems like the churches aren't saying anything against it and it's, it's the government is for it and the people are for it and it seems like if the people are for it, it's, it's happening. Right. Yeah, more and more states have actually made recreational use yes. legal. I think we're up to nine states now and the District of Columbia. So it seems like every election we're adding a, and another a few state. more. Yeah. So really just summarizing today, Blair, we've got these three areas and when they come into agreement, you know your nation is in trouble in terms of God actually sending a judgment to that nation. And again, it's when the government is making uh, laws that violate God's will and ways. Mm -hmm. It's when the people, apart from those laws, just the people are desiring, desiring this and want it. And then third, that the church either goes on board, and we mentioned gay marriage earlier, Some there's more and more churches that are on board with gay marriage, or again, as we talked about, just being silent on various issues. Mm -hmm. So anyway, those are the three areas and how you know if your nation is in deep trouble. We look forward to seeing you next week on Insights. <laughs>